Hey, this is Jeep's Rock. We just got out of the water. Board's dry, so it's ready to be put away and cleaned. So we're in a parking lot. It's hot. I'm breathing a little heavy after bringing it up from the water. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how we're gonna remedy that. Again, we're in a parking lot, so what can we do? We would really like to work on this, but we really don't wanna put this on the hard concrete asphalt because this is, this is already hot. We don't wanna put anything on it. So we're gonna make sure we get this clean and we're gonna keep it off the ground. So how will we do that? We do that by using the tailgater tire table. But this is the newest one. This is the brand new, all black, all aluminum. Weighs only eight pounds and holds 75 pounds, which I'll take that any day. So the way it works, very simple to do. Has two posts here. Because this is the large one, it's a lot easier to actually use. And then these grip pads here are what grips to the tire. And just a little tip for you. If you take your time and back these out almost all the way, when you go to slide it up, it's not gonna take off all that coating. So I try to back them out as much as I can, almost where they're gonna come out. Because you want it to be free flowing. So what we're gonna do is you can see how it just moves back and forth. So this is the larger table, so it's a little bit more cumbersome to move around, but it's not that bad. You can put that behind your tire. Put it up a little bit higher than level because I want to make sure we got a good grip behind it. And I'm just going to lean into it a little bit and then I'm going to tighten those down. Again, I backed them up all the way almost so I don't scratch that coating. So it takes me a little bit longer to frame in. Again, I'm going to push that up a little bit more. I'm going to bring that in nice and tight. Because I'm going to be pushing a lot of my weight to get that clean on the board. I'll do it one more time. And this would be fine right now for this setup if you were, you know, maybe drinking some coffee, maybe a laptop or something. But because we're going to put so much weight on it, we're going to have a little bit more support. So there's another leg right here. This comes down. You either go straight down like a normal table, but what we do because we're pushing so much weight on the top. We're going to put it at an angle and that way you have level and then you're also pushing forward down into the ground so it gives you a nice steady platform. So now I'm going to get my board again and this is why we like the tailgater tire table so much. We're going to put about right there. This might be out of shot a little bit but what we like about it is that we have our fins right here and they're not getting touched, they're not getting marred or scraped up or anything. And then we can adjust this a little bit more if we need to. But we're ready to get our little spray bottle right here. And because this is aluminum, we're not worried about it getting rusty. So we'll just spray it. And then we're gonna shimmy that off, get all the algae and all the stuff off of there. And then what we'll do is we'll fill this up into three pieces. We'll let up the air, we'll take this top here, fold it three times, and it will stay on the table. And we'll get all that air out and then we'll put it away and we'll be ready for our next adventure. So thanks again for watching Jeeps Rock. Again, this is the brand new tailgater tire table, the aluminum, and it's the large.